Hmm. We good? Are we good to go? We certainly are. So yeah, she have returned once again today. She's delivering on stream of JoJo Part Eight, JoJo Leon, on this stream. She's covering Chapter Ninety Seven of a JoJo Leon. As we know, shit is getting intense now. Like I must say, this <laughs> it's going places. This is manga. I'm like, bro. Okay, all right. This is what I've been waiting for for like what two years at this point. It's just, this is just, it's just a, mm, it's a good JoJo pie. It's the good JoJo. It's the, it's this is the JoJo stuff we've been waiting for, and it just feels kind of good. It feels kind of good. Like we have the whole entire idea of what could possibly be the outcome for the head doctor, with actually who he might in theory be, because we still have have zero idea. Like well, we don't have zero idea. We kind of have like some idea what's really going on here. Then we have the whole entire thing with Jobin as well being kind of a very kind of mm, dude, like bro, Norisuke. Why would you hurt a lad? He's good dad. He be he best dad. Why, why would you do that? And yeah, I must say it's kind of getting interesting. I must say the whole entire like motif of part eight starting to come come through. And actually, kind of like it because it's kind of going down a route that isn't expecting of this whole entirety of part eight. And actually, it kind of stands on its own like vacuum in a way like how it's not like i don't really i kind of i always interpret part 8 to be its own kind of thing within the universe itself like in essence it's kind of like i guess like play around 2049 in a way like it's there it's a sequel well technically this isn't a sequel but you know what i mean and yeah it's it's um it's like that it's a good continuation actually expands on a lot of things that the previous part did and the same thing applies here it's kind of like that in a way Anyway, enough talk of my um, thoughts. Let's actually put this on Twitter. So, with that, I believe we actually could put that there. We could put that there. We can put that there. We can put that there. I do actually kind of like Jobin's character a lot now. Like, I think Jobin's, Jobin's my favourite character in Part 8, to be honest. And actually, now he's gotten so much better as well. I'm just like, yeah, boy. <laughs> I was like, yeah, boy. He's cool. He's cool. All right. Oh, shit, I didn't want to do that. That's what I wanted to do. Put that there. And then there. And then there. And then I believe with that we're good to go. Refresh the page quickly. We actually are completely good to go. Right, so let's begin chapter chapter ninety seven, which actually is called Endless Calamity Part Three. So can can that heat burn the calamity away? No, don't launch an attack on the head doctor. If you chase after him, a calamity will befall us. Speed King. It has invaded the house. That kind of hairspray. So then, where did he go? What was it? What was that about calamity? Oh, oh. Mitsuba, where is he? Uh, I don't know. He just disappeared, but I'm sure he dro he dove under under the, under the bedspread. Up until now, he was always he always seemed to be a, a ways off from the house. But then all of a sudden, he'd come inside. I'm not able to see him. He said it took the form of a head doctor, but to stand. That head doctor is a disaster taken form. Calamities keep coming. That that is the stand. They keep going on and on and on silently. These attacks have been going on all this time. All this time trying to all this time trying to find where that fruit is located. I know that much. He's after that fruit. Thinking about it now, this started right after I entered the Wu Tomiki's lab at TG University Hospital. These stand attacks on me. These stand attacks on me. I'm sure Yashiro-chan, Yashiro son is undergoing the same disasters when she came to this house. I bet that I bet that Mamizuku Rai and Hiroshikata Josuke are undergoing the same attacks. The four of us all went to the lab back then. This stand's goal is to make everyone destroy themselves and flush out the location of the fruit. Dear. Dear. 
This is a long distance on automatic stand. We need to get out of here. Surugi, he's almost out of time. The disasters will keep assaulting the Higashikatra house. They'll just keep going. To, they'll just. They'll. They'll just keep. They're just going to keep going endlessly. As long as I have this new rocker. As long as I have this new rocker, you mean? Please, dear. Please. What? What? Just what? What should we do? Mitsuba. I haven't talked much about this sort of thing before. But I want to thank you for always staying by my side. Thank you for being my. Thank you for being by my side even now. It's because it, it's because you were you were here that I made, that I am here. As a, as I am right now, you've caused me to exist. Because you're here, Surugi is here in the Kashikata house as well. There's really no reason to ass to assign a sequence to it. But this but that sequence is precious to me. And that precious thing is something I'll never let go of. Mitsuba, don't move from that spot. The user must be around uh, must be around somewhere. And if they're already found out, never already found out about the New Yorker, then they must be coming towards the mansion. In fact, it's convenient. In front of the garage, that's Hirose, that's Hirose Yashoho. Oh, there do be someone swagging though. There do be someone swagging in the corner. He 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 got that swag. Someone's on the other side of that of the garage. They're watching Ashoho in the house from among the trees. Hmm? Huh? Uh That's strange. I feel like I'm having trouble breathing. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> uh? <sighs> what? Is this? I imagine that we actually I imagine something actually happens to Joe in this whole entire thing as well. Even though technically speaking, he's kind of an ass. But he's an ass for a reason. That's the problem. Like it kind of you don't you kinda of like eh but then like he's he does he, he's not like he's not the conventional kind of like well then again you could apply the exact same thing to every other single character in this manga, that's a problem. But say say he's an ass, he definitely isn't an ass, he just has a different way of doing things that kinda of just make make it go, hmm. Ugh. I mean, it's been a, what, a while since we actually had a, had a blood fountain, to be honest. Ah, ah. Gas. The can of hairspray. Mitsuba. Surugi. What the world is this? Go. Jesus Christ almighty. Jobin's out. The boy's out. It's Mitsuba. Surigi! Go! Go! I guess we do, in fear, be fearing uh, Toru, though. That's the real quest. That's the real tier of the whole entire chapter. We do be fearing that boy, though. Huh? I went for Joshu to MVP the whole entire manga again, like he did last time, to be honest. Joshu, just come in clutch. Boy, do it! I'm, I'm praying. I'm praying for you. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne, Crazy Train. Interesting. Interesting. That was Presley, the Wonder of You. <laughs> he do be, he do be swagging though. He do be swagging though. He got that JoJo swag. He's certified JoJo swag boy. Ah, ah. Uh, hurry, please help. Please, please. Oh. Go, go, go. Lecture on regenerative, medis oh, regenerative medicine, TG University, Akefu Satoru. I can't pursue him, but it's okay if I make him do the pursuing. Hey there, bike delivery service. Bike, hi, here. Please please sign this receipt for me, if you will. Hmm? Uh, 
Sorry to bother you whilst you're resting. Is this a bad time? I'm scheduled to do, I'm scheduled to do an interview. I'm a reporter for the science journal. Panla. Uh, Pangearland, to be precise. Excuse me. I was very impressed by your lecture earlier, Mr. Head Doctor. I'm very looking forward to this to, to this groundbreaking new era in regenerative medicine you're leading the, leading the way towards. And not just the medical field. I'm really looking forward to how the world how the world at large responds. It's like an SCP monster. <laughs> He's an SCP boy now. Jojo part Jojo part eight SCP. Hmm. Um. Uh. Uh. Head doctor. Hello. Um. Head doctor. Can you hear me? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I'm so sorry. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't introduce myself properly. I'm. I am Talka from Panagirland. On your nose and your left and right cheeks are those pimples. How long have you had those on your face? They're rather swollen and they may be full of pus. And I was to take a look at your. Take a look at you at the hospital. Ah, I know. These aren't anything to. It's all right. No need to worry, sir. Hmm. So then, head doctor, just let's let's just get right in right into it, shall we? There's a there's a recorder in here, isn't isn't there? Anyhow, let me just ask this straight out. Just three minutes ago, a package suddenly arrived, addressed to me here, right at the lecture hall. This package right here. I opened it with the utmost caution, and inside I found this SD card with this with this video on it. Woo! This video was recorded just forty minutes ago. Here, let me let me give you a card. I put a copy. I put a copy on. I put a copy on. I put a copy of it on. There we go. I said the word correctly in the end. <laughs> this patient pictured in the video right now. They're in the TGMST hospital basement. Yes. In other words, they're right here. Her name is Kira Hollyson, and it seems she's a doc. She's a doctor at this hospital. Hmm. So, um, in addition to the SD card, there was one other thing in this package. This jar was also inside. Please take a look. Keep in mind, this is very. This is, this was delivered directly to me. Inside the bottle is a part is a broken apart is a broken apart fruit. I believe that's what this is. Not a whole one, just a number of fragments of a broken up fruit. And also, based on the video, there's a, there's a lab on the third floor of this hospital, and they seem to be cultivating there. They seem to be culti seem to be being cultivated there. Who do you, who did you get that from? Oh, sorry. I'm afraid I can't let you touch the jar, sir. And it's against the rules for a reporter to reveal their source, Mr. Head Doctor. So in your lecture, the regenerative medicine, med the regenerative medical treatment, Locker 6251, that, that's this fruit, isn't it? This is, of course, just an educated guess, but this is the raw material for Locker 6251, isn't it? Please, I'd like, please, I'd like, an an like you to answer. Oh, he's getting vibe checked. The boy be getting vibe checked, though. And if it's and if it's not, and if it's not just mice, you you done clinical trials on, but this Kira Holly son shown in the video, then head doctor, that would be a rather large problem. Did you perhaps come here intending to pursue me? Ooh. Yes, that's right. I'm chasing after you. In if this video is real, then it's over for you. I'm going to pursue you to the ends of the earth, and it'll be it'll be the end of this of this hospital. I see. So you are pursuing me. I understand. So then, the lid of the lid of this the lid of this the lid of this jar. Have you tried opening it? What I'm saying is, simply looking at the jar from the outside, you wouldn't know for certain that what's inside is that is a fruit. No, isn't that right? Though though it certainly it certainly seems to be a fragment of something. But looking from the outside, those may be potato fragments, or perhaps onion fragments. It may not look like an onion, but that definitely looks like a, it could be a large mushroom. Oh, he diverting it. He's on that diverting. <laughs> He's like, but wait, it could be a mushroom. It's like, nah, bro. <laughs> how, can be so how can you be so definitive in saying that what's inside of that, that jar is a fruit? What, is, what, what are you trying to say? This is a fruit. I'm explaining that. The, I'm explaining the fact that you opened the jar, because you, after you received that package, you opened the lid with your hands. You smelled it, and um, it's because it gave gave off the sweet, the sweet, the sweet and sour scent of a fruit. You came to into you came to this room thinking it was a fruit. 
You got all excited thinking I've got an exclusive, exclusive scoop here, didn't you? And then you perhaps got some fruit juice from the lid stuck stuck to your finger. It's a little, just a little bit. Or perhaps you were careless and licked that finger. If fate were if fate were particularly unlucky, there's a, there's a rather good chance that when you were putting the lid back on, some fruit juice seeped into the small cut on your skin or your fingernail. Hmm? Seriously, what are you getting at, head doctor? I have no idea. I'm going to have the components of this fruit analyzed by the trustworthy research establishment. There is no need. I already understand. This fruit is un this fruit is un unmistakably a replica. I just explained that to you as well, didn't I? Perhaps you should try looking at your own face. And what and and what you were worth and what you were saying regard and what you were saying regard regarding your source on the matter. I know who it is that sent that package as well. Hey, head doctor. What the hell? Where do you think you're going? I wasn't even close to having finished my questions. Whoever it may be, they will they would always be better off without pursuing me. My pimples. Oh, Oh? Damn. <laughs> and there he goes. Head Doctor was trying to vibe and everyone kind of disturbed his vibe though. And the vibe was completely off after that whole entire point. That was the issue. That was the issue in the end. Huh? Oh no. He's coming from behind me. Up until now, he's always been in front of me, trying to make me pursue him. But he's coming this way, so that means he's going to he's going to the same place I am, which means he's going to where Jos Josuke is. I definitely can't pursue him myself, but I can make him come to me. Ooh. It's Hiroshika to Josuke. Interesting. So he's not pursuing; he's inviting. Time until the harvest of a new rock occur. Two hours, eleven minutes. To be continued. Is the time ripe as well? And there we go. That is ninety-seven. Boy, it's getting good. I love, I love me a bit of JoJo Part Eight now. I love me a bit of this. I love me a bit of this a manga now. Like it's just, I love how a lot of it was kind of like, hey, this is, this is kind of cool, and it kind of got to like, you're like, okay, so now I understand why this whole entire thing was happening. And it kind of all makes sense. It actually kind of makes the whole entire experience worth it. I mean, yeah, some of it was kind of a little bit... But for the most part, it makes everything worth it. And yeah, I do actually kind of like the head doctor as well. Because the head doctor itself... The head doctor himself... He's... It's... He isn't so much an antagonist. More of a kind of like a... He's like a metaphorical concept to actually kind of allow the character to actually kind of see their own flaws. And actually, it, it, is, it is quite interesting because a lot of the events have always kind of led to this whole entire MacGuffin. And because, of the, and because it kind of led to this whole entire MacGuffin, it's kind of then caused this calamity in a way. I mean, literally. Kind of caused a calamity. So, it kind of... It, it breaks down what is otherwise a kind of known concept within Jojo being the pursuit of something, if you get what I mean. Like, the pursuit of something has always been a very key component of Jojo. Pursuing... Pursuing... A, pursuing a person, pursuing a concept, pursuing something has always been a character trait within, ca within characters in JoJo. But it's always kind of led to them finding out something and actually then doing it for the better of the good. Better of good. But here it kind of seems as if it's like, yes, we, we, we know you're kind of pursuing all these things, but the cost of it is actually grave. It's not as if it's actually kind of like, okay, so at the end of this, everyone will succeed. No. Even though Jobin's kind of adamant on the idea that um, the Hiroshi Kata family will never lose. It doesn't seem like that. Them kind of getting involved with this whole entire fruit business basically did in free seal their fate. It kind of made them It kind of made them realise, oh shit, we're basically screwed, aren't we? And it's kind of true, like in essence, everyone has gotten involved with this fruit, we've seen it firsthand, what happens to them. So it's kind of one of those things, even, even the reporter just now, it's one of those things that even though he didn't actively get involved, it tells you the it tells you the dangers that come with actually getting involved in this whole entire thing. So now understand destructive power that the actual fruit can do. So then it turns the MacGuffin into the antagonist, so to speak. So technically speaking, though there is no definitive antagonist in this whole entire part, what the antagonist actually this whole entire part truly is is the pursuit. It's the 
it's the initiative of the character. It's the initiative of the person that's involved in the actual manga. And I like that because it's 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 breaking down the fundamentals of what JoJo was originally. JoJo was a pursuit of something, a pursuit of a person, a pursuit of a dream, a pursuit of a concept. But here it's kind of like, yeah, that's still active. That's just, that's a very active component within JoJo. But at the same time, it's saying to you. But look at the ramifications that come with it, and this is, and, and that's the problem. Like in essence, Jobin's actual kind of kind of pursuit of what he wants is causing all of these things to happen, and even more so, worse as time went on, especially with the whole thing with Norosuke as well, and actually how people got involved that shouldn't have gotten involved actually got hurt because of it, and the same things actually happening with all other characters as well. I kind of appreciate about this whole entire part. It's like a part again. That's why I kind of always interpret this whole entire part to be something outside of JoJo. It's not something I would compare to any other part because it doesn't exist within the exact same frame as like part seven, part six, part five, part four. It's very much like in a way Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Like it exists, it exists. If you get what I mean, it's a sequel, but it's it's it exists rather than actually kind of. Rather, rather than kind of actually kind of like you can acknowledge it or you kind of be like okay well that's actually kind of a good part but it's, it's one of those things why I like Blade Runner 2049 so much because it expands upon the mythology behind Blade Runner as a sequel and actually then expand upon a lot more things around it as well the same thing applying as the same things applying in Jojo Jojo's looking at the whole entire idea of the pursuit and she's saying maybe it's actually not a good idea and I kind of like that and I kind of like I like Josuke's actual kind of involvement in this whole entire thing because again Rather than actually kind of being an active component of the entirety of like what's going on here, he's inviting rather than actually kind of pursuing. And I kind of I kind of found it to be a very interesting subversion of the entirety of a character's actual kind of like motivation, because nine out of ten times the character has to get to somewhere, and then the and the antagonists actually meet them at that point. It's the convergence point, so to speak. So say you're like, okay, well we have to get we have to go take down Valentine. They will in free meet and actually then the actual fight ensues. But in in those parts, in the previous parts of part seven, there's always been an idea that the actual character, the main character, actually been very active towards actually getting there. It's been a kind of a revelation as actually made them go, well, we have to get to that point right now, right this second. But here it's like Joseph's kinda of like, well, I'll just I'll just invite him over. I won't. I know I know what he wants. I know what he wants me to do, but I won't do it. And I kind of find it be endlessly fascinating because it's one of those things. It's 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 a different examination of what a character can in theory do. Again, breaking down what JoJo truly actually is as a kind of a collective. It's not. This isn't. This isn't the typical part of JoJo. That's why I kind of maintain that a lot of it was actually done on purpose because of this idea. Like it was actually kind of. Give me a force of security to actually kind of go, oh, wait a second, lad. No. I kind of like that. So, yeah, I mean, now we actually kind of get into, I'm guessing, a pseudo-convergence point. So, to speak, in essence, Toru actually being a, being in the Hiroshikata estate as well. The whole thing with Joe's the whole thing with Mamazuku Rai, and also the head doctor and everything else around it. It's very kind of, it's fascinating this whole entire manga at this point. And I actually can't wait to actually see where this actually is going, because it's actually getting on the levels of parts of it, even kind of better than part seven at this point. Like, if I was kind of, if this actually was the final arc, I would probably just say this is actually on par, slightly better than um, the last arc of Part 7. Part 7's last arc was actually one of the best things ever. So you can say, so, so, so you can say that it's, it's doing a very good job, so I can't wait to actually see what else they do and what else Araki actually does with this part, because it just, it's, it's, get, it's getting interesting, I love it. So, yeah, I mean, who knows what can happen? Who knows who will survive? I didn't think Jobin actually probably get taken out, but again, that's, it's, it's, he's a he's a victim of his own kind of of his own philosophy in a way. That's the problem. In essence, everything that he's actually kind of done has led to this whole entire event, and that's and that's the reason to why. And actually, kind of, I kind of find it to be interesting that it actually has come to this whole entire point. Because again, he isn't a bad guy. He's no one's a bad person, so to speak, besides the bad people in this whole entire part so far. Like the main, the main cast of characters aren't bad people. They just they actually have a distinct, a distinct way of going about things. Is kind of not the norm, and that's because you can actually then view their actions as kind of very uh, questionable or not. And Joven's actual kind of like downfall in this whole entire um, chapter is a, is is paramount to this whole entire idea it's, it's the idea that he is kind of like a victim of his own philosophy his own kind of pursuit the same thing might happen to Josuke we don't know that's the thing we don't know whether or not this whole entire thing with Josuke actually might kind of block on his face actually it just he actually doesn't really get hurt badly or we might actually have a part where the main character actually doesn't really die before the end of the part and actually besides after the part 
Who knows? That's the thing, we don't actually know besides part six, part, six, part six, I guess, as well. So, yeah, I mean, let's wait and see what happens with part, part eight, but I do actually adore it. It's, it's, getting, it's getting so goddamn good at this point. So, yeah, that is me done for today. So, as always, if you have enjoyed this whole entire stream as a whole on Twitch, then do leave a follow on Twitch because, indeed, it's not quiet. But if you have enjoyed this whole entire stream as a whole on YouTube and doing free, leave a like on YouTube because, indeed, it's not quiet. But if you have enjoyed this whole entire stream as a whole on YouTube and doing free, Leave a leave a sub on YouTube as well because both do help me quite a lot. If you have enjoyed this whole entire stream as a whole on YouTube and doing free, leave a follow on Twitter or join Discord as well because both do help me quite a lot. If you have and actually until next time, check the 98 of JoJo Part 8, JoJo Leon. See you guys then. Bye for now.